What's up, folks? It's Comfy Hour with uh, Game Boy Theater. And oh, ooh, yeah. it's been a while since we saw one of these. I know. So wow, we have a mode. Huh? This is cool. And this is on an original uh, Game Boy cartridge. It's not like a, it's not like a, you know, black one or whatever. Hey, we standard. were just singing uh, Taito's praises uh, when we were doing uh, Tiny Toons. Wow, so many choices. Let's do color. So it's a uh, dang it's space invaders. You you might you might be surprised to find out that it's space invaders. Very uh, you know, it's a game. <laughs> it is the video game. I mean, it's like literally the video game, right? That, that actually reminds me that I have that space invaders. Uh, I guess remake on PS One, sort of similar to Pong. I wonder if they did anything crazy with that. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should do that next. About week. to get BTF up. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, once you die here, I want to see what art, the art, uh, arcade difference is. Absolutely. But yeah, it's it's quite literally, and you, you'll never ex you'll never expect this, but uh, it's Space Invaders. Yeah, I mean, guess some price. Uh, five dineros. I know that's like too generic. I'm gonna go seven dollars. Oh my god, it starts right here. I gotta. I, I don't. Despite us having like a Space Invaders machine for a long time at CIV, I don't think I ever played Space Invaders for more than like a you know. Yeah, I mean, two on actual arcade machines, kind of cool. But I don't know. Uh oh. Yeah, this game's like. This game's actually like fifteen dollars. Nah. Yeet. Okay, here we go. Here's one for ten. It's ten dollars. Ah. Yes, it is. Okay, so there's also a GBA one that's also sort of. Like I, I, I guess bucks. I guess it's more than normal just because it's Space Invaders and like literally everyone can play it. All right, so let's do the arcade one. Arcade Space Marine. Yeah, oh, you're Super NES. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this is like the first game that. What? what the? I. Whoa. We've never seen this before. This is so cool. Whoa. Let's see what the options are. Wow, it's like a, it's like a. How'd they program this to like? Yeah. On a Game Boy cart. Okay. Huh. I'm sure it's gonna be Space it's Invaders. Probably but this Space is, Invaders. This is very. Uh... Upright. Whoa. Well, let's try the upright cabinet screen. This is a heck of a thing. Oh yeah, it looks. This this is like the background of Space Invaders. Uh, Space Invaders Arcade. Like this is what it looks like. Wow. This is crazy. I've never seen this before. And it runs better, too. It runs like Space Invaders. I mean, it's still Space Invaders. I mean, I guess they can do this on a Game Boy card just because Space Invaders is just such a simple game. But yeah. Yeah, I've never seen it before. I didn't even know you could do this on the Super Game Boy. Can I... Okay. I'm just gonna... Wait. Do I have five lives? Let's just restart that. Um, Let's see what the cocktail cabinet looks like. Ah, that's really neat. Well, they went out of their way for the, the Super Game Boy adaptiv uh, adapt adaptivity of this. Not only do they have this, but then they're like, hey. And it's like literally like loading, kind of? Like, yeah, I don't know if that's like fake or not, but it's very interesting. Wow. Taito does it again? Uh, so yeah, let's just check out a... Uh, look at that. Whoa. It's, like a, it's like I'm playing like a... PS1 games. Does Titus still exist? Wait, did I skip this last time? I the so. classic invaders from 1978. Return. Wow. I'll tell you what. So let's do uh, let's do black and white with cellophane because we've already done color. And uh, this is more of a cocktail cabinet, so I guess it's like a little wider. So yeah, I mean, very neat, really cool. It's still Space Invaders. They, they <laughs> definitely know? went above and beyond for something yes. that uh, they could have very quite few people were probably gonna actually. They could have quite literally just put Space Invaders on and called it a day, but that's really nice. And I'm glad they did that because uh, otherwise it would be quite literally just uh, 
just Space Invaders. Remember so cartridges? This one I'm hoping we'll read because this is a pretty interesting game. It's one I want to do eventually for a full LP on Super Nintendo. Uh, Natsume. It's our old friend's Natsume, and this is Spank Yo. Spanky's Quest. 1991. I played the Super Nintendo version. That game's kind of early. Cool. Yep. All right, so let's select Tower 1. So the gimmick with this game, it's kind of like a puzzle game, a little bit of a platformer. We'll see how it runs on the Super Nintendo. Okay, death, well, it still runs okay. Yeah, it's just, uh, you just desperately want this to be the Super Nintendo instead. Okay, so in the, in the Super Nintendo one, um, you start off with like a like a baseball, I think, and then you hit it on your head, and then the ball becomes like a volleyball, then it becomes a basketball, I and then maybe right. a soccer ball. Um, so the whole gimmick is that like you can't attack enemies like directly. So what you have to do is you have to attack them by breaking the breaking the ball BTS like that. Ball. So this is a uh, much different looking than the SNES yeah. one. Much different. Uh, obviously, we we expect it to be, you know, a little bit down. And it's still the general same feel, but, but Spanky like... Spanky just looks weird. He looks like a really fat, like, baby. <laughs> With a tail. He's really fat Goku, as a kid. Oh, yeah. I don't understand. Sometimes it's like... It's like weird, like sometimes I'm like, do that thing where you break, and it's like, no. Okay, that, I don't know, it's like you have to be very specific on the timing. Mm. Uh, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. I was like, wondering if this would be one that I like, a play a fair share, and I'm like, it's harder to control than the SNES one. It's like, it's decent controls. Got some price? Uh, I think for SNES it's like... I'm gonna say 10 bucks. Maybe 25, 30 bucks. So I'm gonna say, and it, I, I feel like that NES one, or the, excuse me, the Game Boy one's a little rare, but maybe people care less. I'm gonna say 15. All the results are for the Super Nintendo one. Would you like a complete one for $270? Seems a little high. Uh. 20 bucks? Looks Legit. Like. Let me, uh, kind of search. Nice, I did it. Give me that P! Give me that A! So I guess if you spell spanky, you probably get, like, an extra life or something like that. But yeah, it goes on like this. Uh, there's... Solo scenes around 15, like okay. 20. So yeah, 15, 20 bucks. Sweet. Yeah, the, uh, the SNES game is obviously, you know, a bit more to it. And as you can, like I said, the, uh, it's clearly like a, almost like a, this is Natsumi, but almost like a bubble bobble kind of feel, uh, in terms of you don't like directly, well, that's kind of cool. It's got some vertical scrolling and it just keeps going on. Uh, but yeah, obviously like a bubble bobble-ish feel in that you don't attack the enemies, you know, directly, but. Yeah, this one's even more roundabout. Yeah. I mean, at least, uh. Bubble bubble, you just blow them up in bubbles. Yeah, so like the them. Super Nintendo one, it can be tough, and like a lot of the strategy comes down to which one of the ones, which one of the um, balls or whatever you would call it, do you want to use, and that's the big key here. Um, I guess I'll beat this this level. It just, I, I would say the the most annoying version or reason for this version is uh, you just can't tell what ball. You're gonna use probably. Yeah, it's really it's hard. A circle. Yeah, because it's just a circle. Yeah, it's hard to tell that. But it, it, this plays pretty well. I could see playing this, like playing it through. I'm sure it's not super long. There's probably looks like there's five towers, and there's probably like I want to say maybe 10, 15 stages for each. So that's that's about it. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna go through until we get to like a boss or anything like that. So pretty good game. Uh, worth 15 bucks. Up to you if you like puzzle platformers. Do ya? Get it, maybe. See you next time, guys. Be comfy.